In this video, I showed you how to publish and release your own LLM. If you just go to this GitHub repository and you run train LLM pi, that's it. You're just gonna, it's just gonna train and you can uh, change it yourself. But it currently runs on only single GPU. I want to make it distributed onto multiple GPUs. I took this code from this OpenAI researcher, uh, train GPT, and I took my code of my LLM because his code is distributed. So I told, I gave both to Cloud Opus uh, 4.1 and I gave it prompt. Just make my code uh, distributed. Look at this code, but don't change anything in my code besides making it distributed. So now I'm gonna copy all of this code. I'm just scanning. I think it's okay, but I'm gonna need to dive a bit deeper later, but I think it's good. It's still generating, that's crazy. I'm gonna try it on Kaggle for now. If I go settings, accelerator, um, and two times T for GPU, because now I have two parallel GPUs. I'm gonna turn it on and run it. So this is called by Opus. It added proper rank, world size, which is number of GPUs, and process group setup. Converted muon to distributed muon and Adam W to dist Adam with async communication. Uh, Keller Jordan also has dist Adam. I'm using a trick, so I copied uh, my original single GPU LLM here. I committed it into this train distributed LLM. And then I pasted my distributed and now I can see the differences in the commit. So I'm gonna now say here files and then I'm gonna paste the error I get when running this on here on Kaggle double GPU. And now Sonnet is trying to fix Opus's uh, mistakes. There is maybe a few. I hope this is gonna work. Otherwise I have to go line by line and figure it out. So it looks like the training is running. I have everything in just one file. So one file, there is 887 lines and both of the GPUs are fully utilized, 100%. And it looks like just a bit of mem, no, just a bit of memory is utilized, but compute is 100%. It looks like it's actually working as I said, as I told Sonnet that I'm running this on Kaggle, so it gave me some extra code. Now I wanna try running it on Novita AI and they have H200s that I can rent. That is crazy, they didn't have these before. I can rent 8X, that's crazy, but I don't wanna rent those right now. I'm gonna say billing method spot and this will give me 50% off this one. I'm gonna take two, so two of these are just 36 Per hour. I think that's cheapest there is. I'm using this guy. And then deploy. You can use my affiliate below to support me. You pay the same. Novita gives me 10%. But even if you don't, I think this is the cheapest on the market. So as I told it, I'm using Novita. It adjusted my hybrid parameters. It gave me bigger model. Okay. Uh, 1490 will be a lot better than T4. I'm gonna comment this try catch and as it told me i'm gonna run this one this is optimized for now so i'll just um distribute that training works on kaggle 2xt4 testing on novita 2x4090 commit go I'll copy this and then I'm just gonna connect and then I'll go and copy my GitHub repository. This is yes, git clone, GitHub repository, and then cdb tab, it's gonna fill. And then I'm gonna Python um, train, just t, train d distributed. So I need to install these data sets. Okay, pip install. Let me check requirements. Uh, okay, data sets, transformers, that's it. So the training actually, it did tokenize, it did do everything properly here. It's all nice. 
he just ran out of memory a little bit so I'm gonna tell it here don't forget to pull because I updated a push to github from my local and then I need to pull on the GPUs here I forgot to pull so now I got the same error and then I didn't know what it was now I see GPU utilization so this one is very utilized while the other one ain't so much so it says here we have some issues uneven data loading synchronization issues and now I'm thinking we don't even need to distribute training because we can just use one GPU why not until we are using H200 at max we can keep using one GPU loss 1.4 it's okay I just want to see what the generation at the end looks like so it did train it achieved low loss 0.2 in five minutes completed complete uh, I'm gonna commit these updates and check if they work so I'm gonna say git pull here if this doesn't work or anyways maybe I will just train on single GPU there is less code there is less this these things but let's say Python fix GPU imbalance Okay, run the diagnostic um, it tells me to Python run GPU monitor here and add a different terminal and run Python the, the file so now I should see uh, both of the GPUs so GPU 1 and 0 0 and 1 so 1% right now, temperature, this is so cool by the way uh, DDP distribu data distributed training 90% both 90% really? it fixed it? let me see this guy so it was 5 minutes to train I guess then maybe it was already properly distributed it's training so fast but Novita UI is kind of lagging a little bit I feel like this is telling me exactly almost 90% utilization memory we can utilize more memory for sure okay cloud cloud sonnet did its job <laughs> but this guy ain't showing nothing okay it's still showing like 90 and 19 but here it says both 90 so novita ui says 90 and 19 percent but your script says both around 90 I told it I like this I just wanted to add a few instructions to read me this is so fast and it's utilizing the GPUs in full almost GPU memory used wait I'm blind I'm stupid oh my god this is GPU utilization, two of them. This is processing, this is memory. It is well, it is properly done, it's properly done, it's properly done. This is not like, I thought this was first and second GPU, but actually this is memory of, or processing of both and memory of both. So it is balanced. Okay, it works, it works. We might actually now use this to train the model. Okay, now I have these two options. I told it to update README so other people can use it. Distributed training guide sets optimal memory settings for RTX 1490 class GPUs. Um, this is for multi GPU training. It's explaining DDP training loop with standard optimizers. 
Okay. Okay. I think it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'll let it be like this for now. So I'm gonna say added multi GPU training. And this trained in five some six something minutes, which is good. And now the GPU usage is zero percent. So this is uh, tracking so well. Check out other videos on my channel. This last video uh, is about things that these frontier AI companies actually do. Like how do they research and actual stuff they are researching, like how to make bytes inputs to LLMs instead of tokens. And that's gonna happen like by the end of this year or next year. Thank you for watching and see you next time.